I think I need to get locked in my sewing room. <laughs> Everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I'm actually on a twirly chair so I'm gonna try not to do this the whole video but I probably will. <laughs> but we are in the house for at least another week and a half. I don't know about you guys. They told my kids basically don't come back to school until this day. And basically in the US what they're trying to do is make sure that the coronavirus does not spread. And so some people are self quarantined but the government as a whole is kind of shutting down a lot of public events and different things like that to make sure that this doesn't spread. That's a positive thing. We don't necessarily want this to spread. But as people in general, you might get a little stir crazy. But I don't think that's going to happen to upcyclers. I kind of think that we already know what we want to do if we get a chance to be in our house for like two weeks. <laughs> but I just wanted to make this video to highlight some of the things that we'll probably be doing when we're in our house quarantine from the coronavirus. All right, so the first thing some of you are going to do is make sure that nobody steals your thrift kit. If you've been following me for a while, we talked about this a while back where we made a thrift kit that included hand sanitizer, tissue, uh, snacks, and everything that you need essentials for a great thrift trip. So if you are a thrifter and an upcycler, you probably already have this and you need to make sure don't nobody take it because you know, as upcyclers and thrifters, I think we've been prepared for a major disaster for a long time. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe and share this video so that everyone knows all the amazing things going on here. The next thing that some of you guys will probably do is use old clothes to make masks. I personally have masks because I'm allergic to dust and when I go to the thrift store, I have to be prepared. But, some of you guys may want to make a mask out of the old clothes or material fabric that you have in the house. I don't have a tutorial for that, but my good friend on YouTube, Fashion Toppings, she just came out with a tutorial on how to um, upcycle garments or use fabric to make a mask. I don't know exactly how well they work compared to the hospital mask, but if you are interested in that, I do have a link in the description box. All right, so the next thing that I know some of you guys are gonna be doing, you're gonna be thinking in your head like, okay, everybody else is quarantined and they're in the house. I'm gonna get my mask that I just made and I'm gonna get my thrift kit and I'm gonna go to the thrift store. <laughs> Don't lie, I know some of y'all been thinking it. I'm not gonna say I haven't been thinking it, but even if you don't want to go to the thrift store, you can still get your thrift on online. Online shops like ThreadUp, Poshmark, uh, Depop, you can definitely go online and still get your thrift on without being around other people. All right, so the fourth thing you can do while you're in your house is to clean out your closets. Do a whole Marie Kondo thing, you know, empty everything out like I did a few months ago. And I have the link to that in the description box because it was crazy the amount of clothes that I had. And these aren't just like things that I made. These are things that mostly, cause I mostly thrift. These are the things that just were in my closet and it was time. It, it's probably time for some of you. If you have the time, if you're off of work, you have your kids at home, you know, they're probably, you know, have their own activities, games to play, clean out your closet, do a whole Marie Kondo, bag everything up. And by the time you're ready to leave the house, again you can go drop them off at the Goodwill and you'll have a fresh start. The fifth thing you can do is wash all those thrifted clothes that you have in your thrift stash that you haven't washed yet. It may not be a whole lot but if you're like me and I this is something that I've never admitted before but I do go thrifting and here the thrift store that I go to they have yellow bags and I do have four or more yellow bags of things that are slowly, slowly being washed. That's just part of my life. It's a guilty secret, but now that I'm in the house and don't plan on leaving for a while, I can definitely go ahead and wash those. And I actually have a video right here, linked right here, where I show you how I wash all of my thrifted clothes. I don't even have to go outside the house to wash my clothes. 
um, everything from the clothes to the shoes you can find in this video. And that brings us to number six. What about all of those clothes that you have that you need to take to the dry cleaners? Whether they're thrifted or whether they're just in your wardrobe, you probably have a pile and the pile adds up and you're just waiting, I guess, for a certain number of them before you take them to the cleaners. You can dry clean at home. That's also in the same video where I show you not only the kits that you buy at the store, with that video, you don't even have to go buy a kit. Um, you probably have a lot of those things to make your own dry clean at home stuff right there in the house. You can have that done and you don't have to go to the cleaners. All right, so since we're airing out dirty little secrets, another thing that you can do is to organize your thrifted stash. My thrifted stash a couple of months ago had gotten completely out of control. And by my thrifted stash as an upcycler, what that means is the clothes that I plan on upcycling. Yes, this pile that you're seeing now it is just not clothes that I wear on a daily basis, clothes that I plan on upcycling. And I know you're judging me, but there are a ton of people like me. We all group together and we love one another. <laughs> But I organized my stash and I had to get real with myself to say, okay, there are just some things that I thought was a good idea at the time, but I'm just not going to do it. The season has passed. The, the motivation has passed, whatever has passed. And so I just fold those clothes back up and I donate them back to the uh, thrift store. Is that a waste of money? Yes. But it's more of a waste for me to hold on to something that I'm never going to use. So I chalk it up. It is what it is. I learn from the mistake, I donate them, and I move on. And now I have everything organized, and now my ideas can flow. I don't have that on my back of a hundred or more upcycle projects, you know, because like when we have projects in our minds, things that we want to do, it clutters up and it backs up and then you end up not doing anything because you get overwhelmed. So for some of you, the reason why you're up, not upcycling, that's probably it. So clear some of that stuff out, only keep the ones of the projects you really, really, really want to do and then get those projects done while you're in the house. Okay, so the next thing you can do is clean or remodel your sewing room. Um, it's something that I've done a couple of times <laughs> in the last few months. First I cleaned and then I just said like, okay, I'm done, I am remodeling. And for me, I've been using my formal living room and my dining room as well as my foyer for YouTube videos as well as for sewing um, and for office for the last seven years. But I never fully cleaned that space it was always like a multi-use space so like I was just slowly kind of infiltrating so at this point in my life I decided we had only used our dining room once as a dining room and I decided it's mine I've been using it exclusively for seven years so I am going to remove the things that were not being used and claim that space so that's something else you can do at, if you're locked in your house See what space you can claim. <laughs> I might be causing some fights in the house, but see what space you can claim for your craft, for your upcycling, and do a little home decor. You know, use the things that you already have. I did that for years, 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 and more recently, I got a few new pieces from IKEA, and I have a video about that. My fresh new upcycling uh, studio, sewing studio. If you want to check that out. All right. So the next thing that a lot of you upcyclers are going to be doing because I have been doing it is shopping for upcycling supplies or even a new sewing machine on Amazon. Um, I Ugh, I am, it's a lot of stuff coming out. Like all the tea is being spilled, a lot of confessions. I am slightly addicted to Amazon, which is bad. And you know, honestly, I need to cut back. But, <laughs> but I do like to, if I'm going to order something, like to order like in, not in bulk, but order a bunch of stuff at the same time. And this is an excellent opportunity to kind of add things to my cart. Are you guys like that? You add things to your cart until you get over a certain amount. It's not even like the $35 that Amazon requires you to 
do in order to get free shipping. For me, it's just like the principle of the matter. And so I add a few things at a time until I get over a certain amount and then, and it's not even the money, it's like the number of things. And then I'll go ahead and make the purchase. But if you are locked in the house, you may want to think about some upcycling supplies that will make your life easier or just some things that you've been wanting and you haven't got a chance to get yet. So definitely check the description box. Um, I, I am an Amazon affiliate. If you purchase anything from my upcycling tool suggestion list, um, I do get a small commission, but it does help me to keep this channel running. All right, so the next thing that you, if you're anything like me as an upcycler, I do this actually on a daily basis. A lot of times right before I go to bed, I'll search Pinterest or YouTube for upcycling projects. I absolutely love Pinterest as an idea board for new projects and then I'll pin the things that I want and if I see that item that will you know help me make the upcycle in the thrift store then I can go ahead and get it and plan out my projects that way and you can also watch blueprint DIY on YouTube for inspiration but there are a ton of other upcyclers and I just want to shout out some upcyclers I have a whole video um, that's going to highlight them coming right after this one but I just want to mention some names not necessarily big channels because you probably already know about those but if you are looking for more YouTube channels to watch while we're stuck in our houses then this will is just for you. All right, so another way that I get inspiration, and I'll probably definitely be doing this as I am in the house, is watch runway shows. You guys know that I love getting inspiration by watching runway shows. As a matter of fact, I bring you guys along with me and let you see me react to the shows um, in this playlist right here. But um, I need to still watch. I've been so busy making videos, I haven't gotten a chance to watch the fall ones. So I'm super excited to watch those um, and you can just get so much inspiration a lot of people said that they haven't been watching them because they're the fashion on runways is just so out there but that I that's why I like it because it gives you the most inspiration and then you can tailor it back to your personality what you feel comfortable with and there's as an outsider there's so much um so many little things that you can do that just add it to a thrifted garment add it to something that you already have and now what you are wearing looks designer so definitely go check out those runway shows um there is a channel that i watch to see all the shows it is the FF channel. Um, I watched that one. You can see all the shows there as well as a lot of the designers now have their own YouTube channel. So you can look up your favorite designer and check out their runway shows on their channel as well. All right. So the next thing you can do is lock yourself in your sewing room. I saw a meme somebody put on Instagram and it said that women in between the ages of 30 and 50 are like carriers. So we are supposed to lock ourselves in our sewing room so that we don't give coronavirus to somebody else. And I I just thought that was funny because like you know we want to be in our sewing rooms anyway but um i actually locked myself in my sewing room to get ready for my runway show a few months ago and i ended up just having to clean it number one and doing a whole lot of dancing and i even slept in there you guys probably don't believe that i actually did it because a lot of people who do the locked in challenge don't actually sleep there i slept in my sewing room but i actually did get to sew the next day but just imagine what you can do if you actually lock yourself in your sewing room for 24 hours and like nobody, the rule is nobody can bother you. That's like a gift, you know, like a, you know, it's like a mommy's day or, you know, like a wife's day or something like that. But anyway, you know, just cough a couple times. <laughs> I think I need to get locked in my sewing room. <laughs> I don't know, there's an image going on in my head. I'm sure it wasn't as funny as what I said, but. <laughs> yeah, you can you can fake a whole lot of things and you know, get yourself quarantined, won't nobody bother you. <laughs> All right, so the next thing you can actually do if you are locked in your house is upcycle. Actually, upcycle. All those projects that you've been wanting to do 
forever. And I know that you have been wanting to do it forever because y'all tell me in the comments, on Facebook, on Instagram, every day, all day, how many things you've been wanting to do but you haven't gotten a chance to. If you get an opportunity during this whole catastrophe and you know, just everything that's going on, instead of freaking out and worrying yourself, just get some upcycle projects done, be at peace and you know, just be grateful for this opportunity to just, you know, relax and get some things off your list, some things off your mind and just be happy. And then once we go back into the world, we can all slay in our new upcycles <laughs> and we'll all be happy. <laughs> and the last thing that you can do if you are quarantined in your house because of coronavirus or anything else is play dress up. Take your clothes, what you have in your closet, your upcycles, and actually play dress up. Um, this is something I love to do. I actually, at one point, I made a whole video about it. I tried on all 70, yes, it's 70, of the upcycles I currently have in my wardrobe, and I just styled them in a way that I didn't before. And I that was an amazing experience because I learned a couple of things. One, I some of the things I just wasn't in love with anymore. They didn't, some things just didn't fit, and so it needed to go in a giveaway pile. And then there were some things I styled it differently, and I felt in love with it all over again. So that's an amazing thing to do. So I as you're doing your whole Marie Kondo, um, getting rid of stuff, try playing dress up because then you really know whether you actually love something or you don't. And there's a YouTuber that she always talks about playing dress up. Her channel is B. Jones Style. She does a lot of thrifting. Her style is kind of quirky, but I just love that she's willing to try anything. She, you know, she knows her style and, you know, she always, she's always talking about, about playing dress up and I would highly recommend that. Um, you just, you get to know yourself more. You get to know, um, you get, if you're playing dress up in your house and you know you're not leaving, you'll try on things, you'll pair things together that you wouldn't normally pair together. You don't have anywhere to go. You're not, you don't have a deadline of, oh, I gotta put this together for work and I gotta get out the house. You're just like, okay, let me try a couple of work outfits. All right, let me try a couple of going out outfits. All right, let me try a couple of date outfits. All right, let me try a couple of church outfits. And just whatever you're going, try play dress up. And you know, if you have, you know, some kids, let me you know let them do it too or whatever it could be a whole family thing but yeah I love playing dress up I get to do it often when I do the last lookbook for my videos I get to you know play dress up and just see okay try it on with this try it on this try it on with that and see what goes best so I would highly recommend that I think you'll find out a lot about yourself and you may find that you're willing to go a little bit further a little bit out there more than you would have in the past I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I in no way wanted to make a life of coronavirus but I think it is a good thing that we are um, doing our best to stop the spread of it and while we're in our houses we don't have to be worried and down we can get some things done so as an upcycler get some things done I have a ton of other videos over here for you to watch definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed and like I said the ne very next video after this I am going to be talking more about the upcyclers and 14 projects projects, actual projects that you can do um, if you're quarantined or in the house or whatever. And I'm going to be highlighting the um, upcyclers that I just talked about. So definitely check that out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!